no debe de doler. Bueno, primeramente voy a limpiarlo con un poquito de alcohol. Okay. Y después de esto voy a, lo voy a marcar. Yo le voy a avisar cuando um, hago, le voy a poner la aguja, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Relaje nomás, ¿ok? So we're doing an aspiration of the knee here. This particular patient had an attempt by another physician, and I guess it wasn't successful. Now sometimes uh, they're tricky, uh, especially when there's a lot of arthritis. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm marking off the knee, the kneecap. Or the, or actually, I'm just, I'm just feeling the lateral border of the patella. This is a patella tibia femur. You can see a big swollen area that's a, usually a effusion. Now, in some patients who have arthritis in their knee, the patella actually tilts like this. So, so the needle has to be aimed up instead of in. And you have to be able to find the lateral border and stay away from it because you don't want to hit bones. So here's the border. I'm going to go here and I'm going to aim my needle up like that. Can you see that? Okay. So let's clean it up. And then let's hope we can do it. So I'm going to use a 22 gauge needle. Uh, you can just go right in if you want with a 20, with a, sorry, 27 gauge needle. You can go right in with a 22 if you want or 25 as an option. I like to not cause pain. Un piquete pequeño, okay? Todo está bien? Sí. Okay, so that felt like I went right in actually. That was a, a bullseye. So what I'm going to do to help me here is, I'm just going to leave that right there. I know it looks strange, but it doesn't cause any harm. And and get my 22 set up. There it is. So while I'm waiting, that, that lidocaine that I injected is actually taking effect. So it's not uh, a waste over there by, by giving a little time to work. So that's my 22 gauge needle. And once again, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm in, especially in this particular case where they had a hard time previously. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the ball the same trajectory. Relaje un poquito, okay? A little shake. Todo bien? Mm -hmm. Okay, so see how, see the angle like that? I'm not sure if you can go over here like that and you can kind of see, see that angle. It has to be like that. If I aim, if I go in like this, I'm going to hit either the, either the, see, that feels really nice. Now this is the ultimate test. Take that off. And watch what happens. Zoom in, see? We're in the knee. So once again, the trick is lateral board of patella. Take a low trajectory, aim high. And then I could have used my ultrasound. It was on standby. It's actually right here next to me, but I didn't. But I was ready to, just in case. In this case, I'm actually aspirating. I'm not gonna inject anything here, most likely. 22 gauge needle, I got a big, a big syringe in here. It's gonna take a little while, but you're gonna see the fluid. Once again, if you can look from the, from the head and you'll see some fluid coming out. Si hay liquido. Yeah. Si, y va a haber bastante. Se va a sentir mucho mejor cuando le quites el liquido, okay? Si. Yeah. So once again, the key here is uh, uh, to do the prep. The prep work is what uh, helps you uh, get it right. Know where the lateral border of the patella is, know where the quadriceps is at. Uh, find the trajectory, especially when you're dealing with an arthritic knee. It's a little different than a non-arthritic knee. I use a 27 gauge needle to start the process. 1% lidocaine, plain skin, so it contains tissue. I did, I actually applied a little pressure. I'm not sure if you noticed. Right when I started, the, I went, I squeezed or, or I shaked, and that uh, mitigates the pain perception from the actual needle. I'm gonna rotate her a little bit like this because I need to get in there and get some more fluid out. It looks like normal looking arthritic fluid, but once I remove this fluid, it'll eliminate some of her pain. Now what's gonna happen is 
it might stop flowing and if it stops flowing then i'll use my ultrasound and kind of redirect the needle a little bit but just wanted to show you what a knee aspiration uh, using a, a painless type of technique is like especially in a patient that already had an attempt by someone and they couldn't get the fluid out all right you guys take care thank you